What's up guys and welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to be talking all about hip shifting during a squat, what causes it, and give you a couple of exercises to try out to help you squat more symmetrically. So let's dive right into the video. What is hip shifting? Well essentially it's when you squat down and usually it occurs at about 45 degrees to 90 degrees of a squat in which you are shifting either to the right or to the left. This can be magnified in terms of intensity, especially when you add some weight to the movement. So think your barbell back squats, that's a typical motion in which will have some sort of shifting occur. Now there can be many reasons as to why a hip shift occurs. And you can look at the ankles, you can look at the knees, what the shoulders and the upper body is doing. But in this case, what I found to be most significant when dealing with someone who has a hip shift, I really just attack the hips. And the most important muscles here are the deep hip external rotators, which are located on the back side here. Really, they're deeper to the glute muscles. Deep hip external rotator muscles are super, super important. And what they really do is externally rotate the femur. Now, if these muscles are unable to eccentrically lengthen as you squat down, then they may hold the femur out to the side that will prevent normal motions such as hip flexion or hip internal rotation from occurring, which are necessary movements when you're squatting down. So if you're unable to eccentrically lengthen or stretch out those muscles when under load or just doing a body weight squat, what will happen is your body will find a way to still squat down, but it may just not look very pretty. So you'll squat down and say, if you shift toward the right, it may be that this left side is actually more limited or it doesn't want to move. You can see how this femur stays out to the side. The deep hip external rotator muscles are holding on tight. They don't want to allow this to move into internal rotation so I can squat symmetrically. So nine times out of 10, I find whichever direction you're shifting in your squat, you're probably shifting away from tension or a muscle that is unable to lengthen on the opposite side. So how do we fix a hip shift now? Well, it's pretty simple. We just need the opposite side hip that we're constantly moving away from to learn how to lengthen and handle the load of your body weight or external weight as you squat down. In the next couple minutes here, we're going to go through two exercises that I found to be really simple and easy to implement and very, very effective. So in this first exercise, you're going to want to utilize either a pillow or say a towel. If you're at a gym setting, then you could probably just use like a hoodie. So bring that with you. You're going to roll it up and you're going to put it underneath the opposite hip. So in this circumstance, we're going to pretend that as I squat down, I'm shifting toward my right. So as we said before, that means my left hip is probably a little bit tighter. So I'm going to move down to the floor here and I'm actually going to take this pillow and place it underneath the right side of my pelvis. So I go here, it lifts me up and tilts me to the side slightly. So I come down nice and easy. And here we're just going to do a good old fashioned figure four stretch. And what this is doing is putting my pelvis in an orientation to stretch out before I even start the movement. I come up here, that's gonna put even more stretch. Think I'm sinking into my back pocket on the left side. In some cases, you might just be able to hang out here and feel a pretty good stretch. But if you want a little bit extra, you can grab a hold of the back of the leg, pull it up, and you'll start to feel a very, very nice stretch through that piriformis muscle. Now, I got this exercise from Dr. Jill Zimmerman off of Instagram. I'll put her info down in the description. She's an awesome follow, so I have to give credit where it's due. But typically, if I just hold this for about two minutes, I've noticed substantial differences in my client's deep squats uh, or barbell squats. And them looking a lot more symmetrical. So we'll hold this for a couple minutes, feel that muscle stretching, all those good things happening here. So now that we've created some passive stretch through that left hip, which is causing me to shift to the right, I want to try to load this movement. So I can do that simply by going into a wall sit of sorts. So here I have a door. I'm gonna be using something like a yoga block or a ball between my knees. And I'll simply just put my back against the door, the wall, whatever you have. I'll put this between my knees. You can also use a foam roller, but we're gonna have a slight offset of the movement. What this is gonna do is 
similar to the pillow underneath my pelvis on this side, it's gonna lift and turn me toward the left. That way I'm already getting sort of a passive stretch to that left hip. Now while I'm here, make sure everything's nice and straight. My right foot's not very far. It's like ball of the foot is in line with the big toe of the opposite side. You'll feel how this lifts your right side of the pelvis and your low back off the wall slightly. You should feel more contact of the left side of your low back, okay? Now that I'm here, I'm simply just going to relax into the wall, feel heavy through my left heel, gentle squeeze my knees on the block. And then all I'm gonna do is take my arm and reach it out in front of me, think in line with my sternum. So I hang out here, the other side is just down and relaxed. I feel that weight, I make sure my back is flat against the wall, weight through the heel, and I'm gonna exhale everything out. Make sure you're not leaning over to the side, nothing crazy like that. Just feel maybe a little bit of abdominals on the side, quad, and your heel again. Slow, silent inhale through the nose. And exhale, reach a little bit further with the hand as you're here. Now we don't want any crazy side bends. We don't want to get too scrunched or flexed in this position. You want to keep your chest nice and tall. And the goal is to breathe into your rib cage and into your back versus doing big belly breaths here. Getting this expansion and stretching from the inside out of your low back and getting into some of these muscles here. Think not so much air, but pressure in those areas. That's going to create that stretch that we're looking for. Now, the cool part about this exercise is depending on wherever you're shifting in your squat, say it's happening a little bit earlier, I squat down and right about 45, that's where I start my shift to the right. Or say I get to 90 and I squat down to here and then that causes me to shift to the right, I can grade this exercise as needed. So take a video of yourself, see where that shift starts, and then from there, pick out right before the shift begins and that's where I'll sort of put people in this exercise. So say I shift at about 45 degrees, then I probably wanna be right here, right? If I shift more toward 90, I can come down lower and do the same exercise. Now for the wall supported exercise, you'll do this for three rounds of five breaths. You can hit both sides, but again, you probably wanna target the side that's tighter and causing the shift. Now, a simple way to retest this is to just do a squat, see if you're shifting. I really like to have people take a video of themselves with their phone, you can do it super quickly. They face away, they do a squat. And then after these exercises, you can retest it yourself, see if you're still shifting and if you got any improvements. So thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it was quick and something that was applicable for you either in the gym or at home. So please like, subscribe, and check out the links in the description if you would like to work with me or if you're interested in any of my template programs. You all take care and definitely check out this video here if you're interested in more hip shifting or any lateral pelvic tilt type videos.